Hi, my name is Mitch Jorgensen and I'm here with Bryce Johnson and we're here to talk today about an important topic called weathering. Weathering is the breakdown of rocks, minerals, and different types of particles and weathering occurs in two different ways, physical and chemical. Physical weathering is called disintegration. This type of weathering only changes the physical size and shape of the rock or mineral while keeping the same chemical components. Heating and cooling of rocks and minerals can cause them to either expand or contract. This causes rocks to crack, allowing water into them to accelerate the process. A real life example of this can be seen every day by looking at the streets. Weathering caused by abrasion is when the sediment load in water, ice, and wind can abrade a rock or mineral. An example of this can be seen when we rub two sugar cubes together and see the sediment fall off. Another example of this can be seen by this rock that we got from the Mississippi River. The edges are all smoothed out from the abrasion caused by the river. Weathering caused by biota is weathering caused by plants and animals. An example of this can be seen when the tree roots push up the sidewalk as they grow. Another example of this is when the tree grows in nature and the rock cracks apart as it grows more. Now that we've covered physical weathering, let's talk about chemical weathering. Chemical weathering is the decomposition of rocks and minerals, which changes the original material into something completely different. The first form of chemical weathering that we'll be discussing is dissolution. Dissolution occurs when a rock or a mineral is dissolved by water or an acid. And to symbolize this, we used a sugar cube that we covered in Kool-Aid powder to make the reaction a little more obvious. The second type of chemical weathering that we'll be talking about is carbonation. A real life scenario of carbonation would be like a limestone rock being affected by acid rain. But today, uh, to symbolize this, we're going to use baking soda in a glass and introducing vinegar, which is an acetic acid.